Two-party system sucks. It's failing us, okay? So Congress comes together, bipartisan border bill, all right, led by the Senate. All of a sudden, oh, no, no, we can't do it. Why? Because it's linked to Ukraine funds? No. Mitch McConnell says, you know, the politics of it are changing. Well, what does that mean? Well, we're worried that if we fix or do something to help the border situation, it doesn't allow Trump to campaign on how screwed up it is as well. Wow. So you're not going to fix the problem so that the problem can benefit your party in an election. That is the game. And it is killing us because they prefer it to doing work for you. That's the truth. And I wish it weren't, but it is. Hence, why the largest group of you says, I am not Democrat, I am not Republican, I am independent. It is a plurality of the country. It is the largest part of the electorate. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is running as one because his own party did not want to allow him in the process, okay? He is polling the best we've seen as that clear third choice since Perot, 92. And Perot absolutely influenced that race. Um, and that's why Republicans hated him. Now, what does it mean for Bobby? Bobby Kennedy Jr. joins us now. Uh, Bobby, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry uh, the timing got a little screwed up because we had that breaking news. Thank you for making the accommodation. I saw. Um, one, one quick question uh, before <laughs> I get into these other two main ones. Where, where have you been? I feel like you haven't been in the media as much lately. Is this just on me or is something going on? No, I mean, I've been, uh, you know, I've been campaigning. I was in Hawaii for a week, so, uh, but I wasn't taking time off, Chris. I was, I was doing campaign work there, and that may have taken me off the national media, but I've been, uh, I've been all over the country. I've been in, I think, three or four states in the last three days, and, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm campaigning full time. All right. Now, I was just wondering if the media is giving you opportunities. That's all. As you know, you have an open platform here um, through the pendency of your campaign, because th that's the job uh, at News Nation. So the first issue is uh, this problem that we're seeing, this latest iteration of McConnell, this is not a surprise to you. You and I have lived it our whole lives. Do you believe you can work within this system if elected and stop the game of just playing to advantage of the party? You know, I was listening to your introduction, and it occurred to me that during George Washington's farewell address, he warned that this kind of cynicism would overrun partisan politics. He warned the country against partisanship. He didn't want political parties because he thought that they would devolve into these, uh, these creatures of self-interest where people would put the impulse of partisanship ahead of the, in the, that would subsume the, you know, the patriotic impulses that we have. And I think that's exactly what you see. That was, uh, that, even that story was pretty shocking. Uh, you know, even as, as, as immune to shock that we've, as, as we've become. Uh, that story was really dismaying because what's happening at the border is really a crisis. I think that I have an opportunity to actually break that log jam because right now any issue that comes before Congress is siloed into the Republican or Democratic camps and the other side can't vote for it. And I think if we have an independent president that who plays it right down the line, that it will give permission to senators and congressmen from both sides to actually do their job and it will allow them to vote on bills that actually make sense for our country without partisan, without punishment from their own party. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.